Our next speaker is Johan. He's the founder of Pardon AI and a big fan of Ber Berhenache. Fenerbahce. Okay. It's a football club. Obviously from Turkey, best club of Turkey actually. I will be re I will be referring uh, Davy the previous slide, and he mentioned about ordering pizza. So I will explain you how important to order a pizza as a as a founder of uh, number one smart menu company in Europe. So imagine now you are heading towards a cafe in weekend, and there is a menu. Uh, in front of you, so you are checking the content, you are trying to find the meal you would love there, you are going there at, um, it is your first time there actually, and you are trying to figure it out um, to find your best meal that you can love, but good luck, there are only letters and prices, so um, as a lottery, you are giving your decision, um, you are, uh, after 10 minutes or 5 minutes, you are asking your girlfriend or so, and you are giving your order to the waiter and something coming to you. So she's not satisfied, and that's happening so many times, actually. So imagine, in just New York City, there are thousands of restaurants, there are millions of tourists and locals also. So imagine how many times it is being lived through every day in our lives. So. Now think about, uh, think from the perspective of the owner of restaurant and um, do you know that they build a menu and that menu stands forever and they don't even change the design of the menu ever. So they just round up the prices, you, you always see integers for example, no like 0 0.99 is just 20% of $5 product, it is important and here's the outcome. 80% of them die in just five years. Some of them um, actually getting bigger uh, just, just because of the slight difference between them actually. They are not, I, I, I don't think they are managed well, so perfect, but there is a slight difference between them. But um, even considering the biggest ones, customer behavior tracking is really bad still in our day. So um, I think there will be there will be a breakthrough in a few years with, with an impact of AI in, in the industry of Horeca. And that is so obvious to me. And there will be the ones who uh, who are just waiting their customers to figure it out with letters and prices. And on the other side, there will be other um, companies, other chains, other restaurant groups that are tracking your finger movements. It is too important because you can know what someone is thinking just um, scrolling down your menu, just spending a time on a chicken or a beef. You can know him vegan or not. You can know everything. And if you can use the data correctly, then um, you, can, you can then overcome the uh, bigger chains and you can be the next biggest chain actually. And um, AI really uh, analyzing millions of users every day and just giving the magical insights to the businesses that they need. Pricing, sorting, displaying the contents, everything. So it is working like sales manager and a really good one. So I think um, in a few years there will be um, a really confusion about the chains and the ones that are leading in next years in the industry, I don't think any sales manager would compete with this powerful um, thinking machine. So I think we all should catch it. We all think with it. We should all think with it. It is not for only businesses also, it is also for you. You will ask AI where to go, where to enjoy, what to drink, uh, what to order. So it is for also individuals. It is coming for individuals too. You will scan the same QR code in the same restaurant, but all of you will have different contents. It will be sorting differently. It will offer you different products, each of you. So this is, uh, this is the transformation that uh, also Horeca will, uh, will face in a few years. Actually, we are on it. Um, I can really say it, uh, obviously. And 
uh, I think Pardon has, an, has a slight advantage on it because we have built our first digitalized menus of the world in 2018. So um, our first target was Istanbul. We were very successful in Istanbul and now we are in New York and I really would love to cooperate with any New Yorkers here to bring the future together. Thank you.